How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to show you how to check the battery cycle count of any iPhone. So as you probably already know, uh, on the iPhone 15 series you simply go to settings and then general about, then you scroll all the way down and right here you have cycle count under battery, as you can see here 156. But, as I said, this feature is exclusive to the iPhone 15 series. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the cycle count on any iPhone. Super simple. Let's get started. So, the great thing about this method is all you need is your own settings. You don't need to download anything and, of course, pay for anything. All you have to do is scroll down just a bit until you see right here privacy and security. Tap there and then scroll all the way down until you see analytics and improvements, right? And right here at the top you'll have analytics data. So tap here and you'll see a bunch of data, a bunch of reports, but don't worry, the process is super simple. So the reports that we want are the ones that says analytics, as you guys can see right here. And as you can also see, there's a date right there. So I do recommend that you get the date that's closest to today. So in my case, today is January 30th, 2024. So we have an analytics here from yesterday. So January 29th. So great, that's the one I'm gonna pick. Of course, the closest date of today is gonna be the most updated report. Before we move on, maybe you don't see analytics on your phone. You just have all those other options, but you don't have analytics. So if that's your case, it probably means that this option here is disabled. So share iPhone and watch analytics. It's probably disabled on your iPhone. So go ahead here, enable this feature, wait one to two days, and you will see analytics right here. If it's already enabled on yours and you don't see analytics, also wait one to two days, it will appear, okay? Because some days, rarely, it doesn't register analytics, okay? So, moving on, let's go ahead here and pick our latest analytics. And as you can see, it's a bunch of text right here. Don't worry, it's super simple. We're gonna deal with that like a breeze. All you have to do is select and copy all of that text, because as I said, it's just text, right? So tap and hold until you see your typical select tool, right? Uh, the top handle right here, bring all the way up, as you can see, all the way up, and the bottom one, you're gonna bring all the way down, okay? It's a long text, so you're gonna actually tap on it, hold, and bring all the way down until it actually moves. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. As you can see, you can keep trying. All you have to do is actually make sure it does that. You gotta make sure you can manage to get to the edge of the display because like that, it goes super fast. And as you can see, I got it to the end of the text. That's it, okay? So just like that, I can go ahead and copy. As you can see, it may take a few tries because the text will be right here, right at the edge of the screen. So you can go ahead and keep trying and keep trying until you manage to get there, get the momentum. So you go ahead and get the selection all the way down, okay? So as you just saw, I just copied it. And what I need to do now is actually paste it on my notes, like a regular note. So I'm gonna open up the notes app and I just have a blank note right here. I'm gonna tap on it and then paste. And as you can see, it just paste everything, all the content, all the text. And right now, we're almost done because we need to search for a specific sentence, which will give us the battery cycle count. So to do that, tap on the three dots right here and then tap on find in note. So it's gonna search, right? It's gonna search here our whole note. And the text we need to look for is actually last, as you can see. I have it on the screen, so it's super easy for you to follow, okay? So last underscore value, there we go, keep going. Underscore once again, cycle count. There we go, that's enough. So last value cycle count. As you can see, we have 15 results, but don't worry because those are equal. Those are all the same, right? So as you can see right here, we have last value cycle count 131. So what you need is exactly this. 
pick on the first result, as you can see, the next number, so this number right here, the number that follows, less value cycle count 131 in my case right here. And you may say, yeah, Daniel, you got it, but it's different from the settings. It's a little bit different. Yes, it's a little bit off, but it has to do with the chemical properties of lithium ion batteries. They are not precise. Nothing when you're talking about batteries is precise. So battery health, maximum capacity, nothing like that is precise. And as you can see, even if we're getting the information from the same phone, we're getting some different values right here when we're talking about cycle count. But don't worry, that difference is not important and it shouldn't be so large. So that's it. That's how you get your battery cycle count on any iPhone model on your iPhone, super easy, all right? Oh, and by the way, if you're not really sure what a battery cycle actually is and what you can do with that information, I have multiple videos here on the channel about this topic. So I'll leave a card right here, links in the description, so you can go ahead and have a look at other videos here on the Anabal Tag so you know what a battery cycle is and what you can do with that, all right? So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.